Okay, so this is the meadow here on my property that I'm going to go ahead and build a like a tent platform, just a little something up off the ground, get my camping stuff up, maybe a nice spot for a little picnic or something. Here's the supplies I went ahead and brought with me today to build the base of the frame. You can see I'm going to use those uh, cheap concrete piers, some 16 foot uh, two by sixes. I've got the Honda Jenny in there. A little bit of gas. Cause I don't trust uh, cordless tools out here. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so obviously the first thing I had to do down here in this meadow is go ahead and clear it out. So I cleared me a spot uh, big enough for this platform. I'm planning on 16 by 16. Again, just something to get up off the ground. The ground down here is very unlevel. But this is a one of the few truly open areas on this property. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and put my little camping platform. Uh, it's not going to be spectacular or to code or anything like that or professional. Just something to get my tents and things up off the ground. So time to go ahead and get started with the frame. Well, it was raining when I started and now it's sunny. And so therefore it is extremely hot and humid down here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop for today. But give you a basic idea of what I've gotten started with. Uh, again, I just use those uh, cheap concrete piers and some other uh, cinder block supports and that kind of stuff in the middle. I will be adding additional, uh, you know, what do you want to, ever want to call those, joists across the bottom there uh, for further stability at a later time. But I'm out of supplies right now, as you can see. So that's it. That's where she's going to sit today. And we'll follow up next chance I get. Well, it's been about a month since I started the platform project and I have returned to my meadow. And as you can see, it's no longer clear. Now, last time I was down here, I was able to finish putting the boards on half of the platform. And as you can see, the wilderness has decided to creep right back up and try to reclaim my area here. So you might be able to see the uh, framing there between the weeds and such. I'm going to have to go ahead and get all that cleaned up. Open this space back up a little bit and uh, go ahead and finish up the decking part of the platform. But as you can see, the wilderness waits for no man and apparently I waited too long to get back down here to finish this project. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned up and see what we can get done. Okay, since I don't have my brush cutter down here, I cleared this area with those two tools right there. A regular old fashioned weed eater and then a brush cutting weed eater. Uh, well, weed eater with a brush cutting attachment. And you can see a little bit, uh, again, I still have to do the shoring up on this side with a few more joists between those open spaces there. Again, uh, if you're gonna comment about how it's unprofessional and stuff like that, well, I don't really care. Uh, again, it's just something to get me up off the ground. So let's get the other side done. Well, there it is. With the magic of editing, you can see that I've got both sides done and you can see how the one side is well weathered. A little close up look here. We'll walk through. Again, it may not look like it's supported all the way, but it's actually supported on the underside on the inside. This isn't designed to be a weight bearing structure. At most, it's gonna have a tent that's gonna hold two people and some gear, maybe a picnic table from time to time. But again, something simple to get me up off the ground. I think it'll work pretty well. Let me go ahead and back up out of here. You can see the whole thing. And that's basically what it's gonna look like. My little meadow down here. I've got a camping platform for picnics, stuff like that. Throw tents up on them. And that's it. It's gonna work for me. The uh, video is over. You can, you can go now if you want. Hey, but before you go, why don't you think about giving me a thumbs up like or uh, maybe even subscribing to my channel? I'd certainly appreciate it.